Victory in the Christian life isn't automatic. God offers us His supernatural power, but we also have choices to make in order to appropriate that power. Paul tells us in Romans chapter 8, the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. That means you need to choose where you set your mind. In other words, what you think about, what occupies your thoughts. Even as believers, we have a daily decision to make about whether we'll listen to the voice of God or we'll listen to the voice of the enemy. Galatians 5.19 tells us that the deeds of the flesh, they're ugly. They're displeasing to God. Immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions. Boy, it's a long list he mentions here. Envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. He says, if these are the qualities that characterize your life today, I have one word for you. Stop. Stop. Galatians 5.22 offers you a great contrast. It says the Lord offers to fill your life with the fruit of the Spirit. Listen to what these fruits are. He offers to fill your life with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So which would you rather have? The deeds of the flesh or the fruit of the Spirit? You know, it's all a matter of your choices and where you set your mind and your heart. Luke 24 tells us that the Holy Spirit not only gives us power from on high, but he also delivers us from demonic bondage. You know, shortly after Jesus was empowered by the Spirit at his baptism by John in the Jordan River, he, he entered a synagogue and he read this passage of scripture from Isaiah 61. Jesus said, the Spirit of God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed and to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. You know, if you've been a captive to sin or Satan in some area of your life, please hear this. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus offers release to you. If you feel oppressed today, the anointing of the Holy Spirit will set you free. The freedom Jesus offered you is not temporary. The Bible says in John 8, 36, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. You don't need to live your life in bondage to sin or Satan. Jesus, Jesus didn't come here to just wound the devil. He came to destroy his power, the power of sin, sickness, and spiritual death. Remember these great promises from God's word. In 1 John 3, 8, it says, The Son of God appeared for this purpose, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 4, 4 says, Greater is he, speaking of Jesus, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And one of the favorite verses in the Bible that I have is Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, God offers you the power to be an overcomer. He offers you the opportunity to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you've never asked God to fill your life with the power of His Holy Spirit, you can do that just by praying this prayer. God, thank you for sending Jesus to save me from my sins. Jesus, I want you to be the Lord over every area of my life. And I thank you for sending your Holy Spirit so I can be empowered to walk victoriously in a new beginning with you day by day. Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, I invite you to come. Fill me up right now. Thank you for your spiritual gifts, the fruits of love and joy and peace, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And Father God, thank you for giving me the gift of your Holy Spirit. I pray this prayer in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. I'm so excited for you today. I believe the Holy Spirit working in your life is going to guide you, comfort and empower you, and reveal to you the very thoughts of God. Why? 
because his word promises just that. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. I encourage you, explore the many resources on this website to help you grow even stronger in your faith and experience not only the new spiritual beginning that God wants you to have, but new beginnings in every area of your life, like your, your family, your physical body, your finances. And tomorrow, we're going to continue our journey towards your experiencing those new beginnings in your life. God bless you.